Welcome to this Radiology Nation tutorial video where we will be demonstrating a technique for ultrasound assessment of inguinal and femoral hernias. In this video we will explain the logical stepwise approach to hernia ultrasound whilst refreshing key anatomical landmarks and showing some examples of common pathology. For more video tutorials like this, please visit our website. The important anatomy at the groin is the pubic tubercle and the anterior superior iliac spine. The inguinal ligament connects these two anatomical landmarks. Deep and parallel to the inguinal ligament is the inguinal canal, which has a deep and superficial ring. Perpendicular to the inguinal canal, at the mid-inguinal point, runs the femoral sheath and femoral nerve. Please pause the video to give yourself time to read through the contents of the inguinal and femoral canals. As with any ultrasound examination, it is important to optimise your image using depth, focus and gain. Representative images can be taken during the examination with the freeze and acquire controls. To start our assessment, we place the probe in transverse section at the mid-inguinal point. Here we find the femoral vessels and femoral canal, through which a femoral hernia may protrude. Once the anatomical location has been established, we slide the probe caudally and cranially along the femoral canal to look for any obvious hernias. Next, we provoke the movement of abdominal contents through a femoral hernia by asking the patient to perform four different manoeuvres. First, we have the patient perform a Valsalva manoeuvre by asking them to take a deep breath in and strain down. As you can see, this causes distension of the femoral vein, which is an expected finding. In this case, nothing comes down through the femoral canal. Next, we ask the patient to lift their shoulders off the bed and then we look again for evidence of a femoral hernia. Now we combine the Valsalva manoeuvre and the shoulder lift to further increase intra-abdominal pressure. The final manoeuvre used to elicit a hernia is a cough. Next, slide the ultrasound probe medially to locate the inguinal canal. Note the position of the ultrasound probe here. An oblique angle is applied so that the image shows a true transverse section through the inguinal canal. The inguinal canal can be seen as a small cluster of round, low echo vessels. Slide the probe cordially towards the pubis or scrotum until the inguinal vessels dip out of view. This is the point of the superficial ring. Now slide the probe cranially up the inguinal canal until the vessels again dip out of view. This is the point of the deep ring as seen in the centre of the image. In this position we ask the patient to perform the same manoeuvres as before in an attempt to elicit a hernia. Herniation into the inguinal canal through the deep inguinal ring signifies an indirect inguinal hernia. Here is an example of this type of hernia. During the Valsalva manoeuvre, you can see bowel protruding through the deep ring into the inguinal canal. Next is an example of a direct inguinal hernia. Any herniation out with the inguinal canal coming directly through the abdominal wall signifies a direct inguinal hernia. Most direct inguinal hernias occur medial to the deep ring and inferior epigastric vessels. Although not demonstrated in this video, to complete the examination we must repeat the previous steps with the patient standing upright. This will increase the pressure on the femoral and inguinal canals, allowing visualisation of smaller hernias. We will now quickly demonstrate another useful method of determining the location of the deep inguinal ring by following the path of the inferior epigastric vessels. Slowly slide the probe along the femoral canal, looking for a vessel coming off the femoral artery. 
The inferior epigastric artery arises from an ephemeral artery and runs medially under the deep inguinal ring. It then continues under the rectus abdominis muscle as shown here. This concludes our tutorial on hernia ultrasound. Thank you for watching. Watch our other videos and visit our website for more educational content.